say what you like about 2010's Sniper Ghost Warrior with its so-so graphics and alternately lobotomized and psychic AI, it did sell 2 million copies worldwide. That's proof enough there are sniping enthusiasts who make allowances for a game as long as it lets them shoot someone between the eyes from half a mile away. <sighs> But here's the good news. Those 2 million sales meant the game's developer, City Interactive, could afford to splash out on the shiny CryEngine 3 graphics engine for the sequel, Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. You're looking at it now. Uniform Beach is heavily guarded. Can you see any means of alternate egress to target? Over. Thank you. We're also picking up vehicle heat signatures near the tree line. We need to carry out a clean assault from this position without causing an alarm. Perfect. Diaz, you owe me big time for this. Also new is the semblance of a plot. Where the first game's storyline was slim to none, this sequel hangs its action off a plot set in the mid-90s, but inspired by 80s action flicks, hence the uh, snappy one-liners. Take a swim. The story drives the game through four locations, including the Philippines and Tibet. Along the way, you'll mix up the classic long-range sniper action with up-close stealth segments, in which you'll have that knife and, say, a silenced pistol. In the stealth mission on screen now, for instance, you're paired with a spotter who has to talk you through the level while you sneak around on the way to rescue your lost rifle. Hold on. Hmm? How many rounds you got in your handgun? Fifteen. down there, and at least I still have my binoculars. Which is another way of saying, get down there, Cole. Well, you're the hero. Just a Plus, it is your rifle. Cheeky bastard. Check the searchlight before going through that bridge. An alarm here means we're as good as dead. Better to let him be. You can circle around, stick it to the path. I think I'm doing enough damage. That remorse I hear. No. Economics. Enough of the trimmings though, what about the actual sniping? Well, those players who demand snipey realism will be pleased wind speed and bullet drop over distance will have to be fully accounted for, except in easy mode. The less difficult modes also have a bullet drop assist, that's the red dot below the centre of the crosshairs. There's also heat vision for spotting your enemies through the jungle and binoculars for tagging them, and slow motion bullet cams. You don't get these for every kill, but you do seem to get them for quite a lot of kills. Environments aren't fully open world, but combine larger open areas for long-range combat and linear sections, as in some of the stealthy bits. That fence of yours. Lone enemy on your path needs to be eliminated. As for the AI, the enemies didn't do anything alarmingly stupid or apparently psychic while we were playing, so that's a good sign. Stay tuned for more details on Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, including the new multiplayer suite with its team deathmatch mode, between now and launch in mid-January.